everybody, it's Wall Guy. Warfighter is fast approaching, and I want to get as many subs on board before Warfighter comes around. Uh, in an effort to do that, I am planning on talking on many of my Keystone topics uh, leading up to Warfighter's release. These are topics that I penned out before I started doing commentary, and uh, they're really important to me, and I put a lot of thought to them. Also got some gameplay surprises, some stuff you'll really like, I think. And of course I'll be bringing you some Xbox Beta Warfighter footage, uh, that's coming any time now. I don't think we have a final date on that, but I will be all over that, so stay tuned for that. And of course I'll be playing the game itself on PC when it finally releases on October 23. So make sure to sub up now so you don't miss out. I quickly wanted to say a special thank you to all of you for supporting uh, me so strongly in my last video about teamwork. It uh, meant a lot, and most importantly, there was a lot of really good discussion. I, I don't consider it spamming when you uh, comment a lot in there and you have some back and forth and you're genuinely discussing the topic. That's great. That's what the section's for. That's what I love to see. Uh, I love talking to you guys. I love when you're talking to each other. It's good stuff. So keep that up. Alright, Warfighter is coming soon, as I said. You're going to get to see me play it on Xbox in the beta and on the PC. And you're used to seeing me play and be uh, one of the best players in the game, a very good player, and that's generally how I like to keep it. I don't think that I should even be here showing you stuff if I don't have a good gameplay to show. Now that I'll be starting out with the new game, and I'm not planning on going on some long hiatus, not to return until I'm the Batman of Warfighter, something is going to have to change. I'm going to have to let you in on what the process is like for me and Meowth when we start playing a new game. But you know what? That's perfect because I've been talking about all of these uh, steps you should take to become an elite player in a game. Uh, what better way to really show that they work than to watch me start from scratch with the game and use these steps myself. So today I'm going to share with you one of Meowth and my most important methods to becoming good. But before I give this away, I want to remind you of the steps we've covered already of uh, graphics and controls and losing your entitlement and uh, ignoring distractions and playing uh, teamwork the right way. These steps are all very important, especially the mental aspects I covered in the entitlement and the distraction sections of this series. That's the part that most people ignore and write off and skip because they think they've got themselves under control and ultimately it really hampers uh, their potential. They never meet their full potential. So please give that some extra thought if you're taking this series seriously. Once you get all these steps working in concert, you're ready to employ today's tip. Okay, terribly sorry about the long buildup, but I thought I needed to reiterate those things because, wow, did you see that slam dunk? That was badass. Yeah, I, I had to reiterate some of those things because they're very important to the overall process in my opinion. But here we go. Okay, so my first taste of Warfighter is gonna come on Xbox because of this exclusive beta thing, and that's fine. We'll ignore for now that I am, you know, completely unexperienced when it comes to using the Xbox controller in an online environment. I've never played console games online uh, more than just a, a few rounds here and there that I've had a chance to do. So I'm not comfortable with any controller when it comes to playing. I will be having to, you know, learn that too. It's learning the game and learning the controller and the whole uh, console style. But let's ignore the controller issue for now and just focus on learning the game. So let's assume I got the game in my hands. I'm starting it up and I'm about to play against some people and what's my mindset? What do I want to do? Do I want to get in there and show them how good I am? Uh, play really smart and do, uh, do my very best to, to play well and look good and, and have a nice awesome score? Well, that all sounds like a good plan, but that's not it. That's absolutely not it. That's wrong. But here's what I'll do, and this is a method I've been hanging on to. Here it is. Play aggressive beyond your current means. Don't try to do your best just using your current skills. That's settling. You won't improve very fast doing that. If you're not pushing yourself beyond your limit, it's unlikely you'll ever grow very much. So when I start playing Warfighter and Meowth starts playing Warfighter, uh, we're gonna play, and it won't be pretty, I can guarantee that. Uh, I could be negative, you know, so what? I'll die a lot, so what? You shouldn't be scared to die in a video game. 
my KDR might be break even or even negative. Again, I say so what? And remember, this is by design. I could, as I said, probably achieve some sort of respectable score that wouldn't be so embarrassing for a new game that I'm playing. But I don't want to be mediocre or acceptable. I want to immediately jump on that road to being great. Believe it or not, this is exactly where Meowth and I started with Medal of Honor 2010. We were exactly this bad, and we broke a lot of eggs before we made these delicious omelets that we put up for you guys. Yep, I just said that, and let's hope that's the first and last time you uh, hear anyone refer to their videos as omelets. So in more detail, here's the trick and why it works. Whether or not you die is a matter of how many factors you can successfully navigate at any one time. If you play careful, you're seeing few factors like this. You may eventually become adept at handling simple situations, but you won't be able to handle tough situations. You'll maybe be shooting at one or two guys, uh, and then you'll get overwhelmed by the third factor, whatever it may be. Boom, you're dead. But if instead you continue to purposely put yourself into trouble, get yourself into situations that you can't handle, you will learn to handle more factors at once, gradually. Tenuous application of this strategy is exactly the reason why Meowth and I can handle so many factors when we get surrounded. Uh, say there's five, six, seven, eight guys in the general vicinity, and all of them are looking for us, and sometimes we make it through alive. That's crazy. I mean, sometimes you're, you're, you're watching it and you're like, holy crap, did that just happen? Like, when's it gonna end? They just keep going. It's like a, a locomotive out of control or something. We've been doing this so long and have so much experience that we can just handle an absurd amount of factors coming at us fast paced from every direction, different varieties of attacks. I'm sure on more than one occasion you might have been seeing us just dive into a situation that you knew wasn't safe and you're thinking like, why are they doing that? They're going to mess up their score chain or they're going to get killed, that's stupid. Well, we're probably aware of it and we're going to dive in there anyway. Why? Because we need to get ourselves into that impossible situation. The impossible situation is what trains us for uh, getting better, so someday that won't be an impossible situation and we'll be ready to find the next thing that we can't handle. And let me be clear, our current uh, mastery of this game is pretty strong, sure, but by no means are we a finished product. By no means can we handle everything all the time. We're still looking for those impossible situations, and we find them, and we constantly get ourselves into trouble because we're still trying to improve. We can always improve. We can always get a lot better. We're always looking to do that. We never think that uh, you know, we're as good as we can be, and so we just keep pushing forward using these methods. These methods will work for you, trust me, if you're willing to allow yourself to go through the pains of dying over and over again and learning a little something each time that you put yourself in one of these impossible situations. Alright, so now maybe you'll have a better understanding when you see us play Warfighter for the first time and it looks like we just keep running to death. Like we don't even want to live. We just, we know where the, the trouble is and we keep sending ourselves to our demise. That's what's going to happen and I hope you're there to watch it. Make sure you sub up. This is going to be a fun time coming really soon. And uh, we're all excited for Warfighter. I'm sure you guys are too. So be ready for that and be ready to watch us look silly. <laughs>